I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Sunday, August 15th, the 12th Sunday after Pentecost, our scripture reading is from John, the 6th chapter, verses 51 through 58. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As a living Father sent me, I, I live because of the Father. So he who eats me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not such as the fathers ate and died. He who eats this bread will live forever. Word of the Lord. Eat my flesh, drink my blood. Really? These are metaphors of, metaphors of course. Flesh and blood is a way of saying the whole person. Everything that one is. Yet they are more than a metaphor, for we do, in fact, eat Jesus. We take him fully into ourselves so that everything he is, he is may nourish us and be ours. His life, his love, his strength, his suffering, and especially the intimacy he shares with the living Father. We are not outsiders looking in at this mystery. Our fulfillment is to be inside, participating in the unfailing current of love that flows between the heart of God and Jesus' own heart. So we eat his words and savor his actions. We hold them in the inner eye of imagination and turn them over in our minds. Not so much to understand things about him as to experience his presence awakening within us, illumining mind and heart. Then we can sink into our own heart and abide there with Him, resting in the love we share. Do this, and after a while, your life too becomes food and drink for famished world. Our prayer. Illume our hearts and renew us, Lord Jesus, as we feast on you and abide in your love. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.